video is on hypergeometrical distribution. See here, according to the definition, a random variable x follows the hypergeometrical distribution if its probability mass function, that is PMF, is given by probability of x is equal to k is equal to. So, kcx, so this is nothing but kcx into nc, n minus k, c n minus x by this is n c n where n is the total population, n is the sample space and k is the total number of successes and n the number of successes, successes to be chosen or found. See here, when n, when capital N is the total population and small n is the sample size, see k number of successes and x the number of successes to be chosen. See here, this is the format and we have to subtract this k from the n. So, this is how we have to remember n minus k. So, here also we have to subtract x from n. See here, this is k x. This is n minus k, n minus x. So, this is how we have to remember. In each and every term, we have to remember like this. See, the formula is also very easy here. The probability of x is equal to k can be represented as kcx, that is kx. And here, n minus k, small n minus x by ncn, that is ncn notation is like this. So, this is how we can represent each and every problem here. And this, see, hypergeometrical distribution these are the distributions which are dealt with exact distribution for the sampling without replacement. See here, without replacement problems are all, uh, we'll get the solution through hypergeometrical distribution. And see, in each trail, we have two possible outcomes, success and failure. And the probability of success changes on each trail. And the successive trails are dependent. So those are all the problems which will get solution through this hypergeometrical distribution. So the formula is also very, very easy. K, as you know, K is total number of success and N. So the value should be known. And see here, N total population, N sample size. And see, we have to subtract this KX from N capital N and small n and again here n and small n. So, this is the way we can represent easily. So, here is an important problem for you. See here, using geometrical distribution, I am going to solve this problem that is an urn consists of 1000 balls, 700 green and 300 red balls. A sample of 7 balls are drawn. What is the probability that it that it has three green and four red balls. See here, what is the total population here? The total population here, n is nothing but the total population. See here, the total population. How many number of balls are there? So, this is 1000. So, this is n is equal to 1000. And the next one, 700 green balls and 300 red balls are there. See here, how many green balls are there? We have 700 green balls and next 300 red balls are there. See here, 300 red balls are there. A sample of 7 balls are drawn. See here, a sample size, a small n is nothing but the sample size. The sample size is nothing but n is equal to 7. So, this is the data given. What is the probability that it has 3 green and 4 red balls? See here, just I have shown you this one. So, this is n and this one is the small sample size and see here, this is k and this value is x. So, according to our notation, see here, this value is n minus k. So, this value is n minus k and here the value is x. So, this is x to be known. This is n minus x. See here, please remember this one and see now I am going to substitute. What is our n? Total value here is the total population is 1000. So, out of 1000 we have how many red balls are there here? The red balls, green balls are uh, 700 and 300 green balls. See here, 
the green balls are 700 and the red balls here are 300 700 and 300 so what is the sample size so we have to take 7 among 1000 so how many green balls we have to take x value how many green balls are needed three green balls and four red balls see here three green green balls are three we have to take uh, out of 700 we have to take three green balls and out of 300 we have to take four red balls so using this we have to use the probability distribution function so according to the probability distribution function so we have the formula that probability probability mass function can be written as see here according to our formula this is 700 c3 and the next one 300 300 c4 by 1000 1000 c7 so this is 1000 c7 so according to this so we can write this as 700 c3 into this is 300 c4 by this is 1000 c7 so the answer here the final answer here will be 0 0.09691 see you know how to draw this and how to solve this one according to the binomial distribution formula we have with replacement or without replacement so this is without replacement so all the problems which are um, solved using without replacement through hy hypergeometrical distribution see it's very easy here and capital n is nothing but thousand and small n is nothing but seven see here a sample of seven so this is the sample size and this is capital n and this is small n See here, capital N is this one, small n is this one. They are out of 1000. We have 700 green balls and 300 red balls. Among 1000, we have to select 7, which are 3 green and 4 red. And now we have to find out the probability mass function. So the probability mass function is also very simple. 700 C3 into 300 C4 divided by 1000 C7. So 1000 C7. So this can be written as C700 C3 is nothing but 700 into 699 into 698 divided by 1 into 2 into 3 into this is 300 C4. This is 300 into 299 into 298 into 297 by 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 divided by 1000 C7. So, subtract. So, what is the difference uh, here? 1000 that is 1000 into 999 into 998 into 997 into 996 into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 995 into 994 divided by 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6 into 7. So, if you calculate these using Calci, so this will be the answer that is 0 0.09691 is the answer. This is how we have to select capital N, small n, so k, n minus k, x and n minus n n minus x so this is the usual notation so in this there are thousand balls out of which 700 and uh, 700 are green balls and 300 are red balls out of thousand i have selected four four oh, sorry seven out of thousand i have selected seven balls so sample size is n is equal to seven and out of seven balls what is the probability of getting three green balls and four red balls so this is the shortcut that is seven c three into 300 c4 by 1000 c7 so this is the final answer thank you so much for watching and staying till the end